So you may have heard about this thing called stock music licensing. Maybe you have interest in it, or maybe you're actually doing it already. Heck, you may have even found this channel just by a video that I did called Zero to $600 a month. And you said, ooh, I'll have what he's having. And yes, that really did happen to me. You may hear reports of people making $5,000 a month, or if they're more like me, making two or $300 a month, or making nothing. We've heard for years that stock music licensing can be a full-time income, or at the very least, a really good side income. So is it worth your time as a musician, as a producer, as a composer to get into stock music licensing? If so, what is it going to bring you financially or otherwise? What even is this thing called stock music licensing? Well, that's what we're going to find out. And I might have some answers and some thoughts that may surprise you on this. So some of you may be new to this channel, and if you are, welcome. My name is Eric Copeland. I am a composer, a music producer, and an educator. And you may not know that I have an ebook all about stock music licensing. Hmm, what a coincidence that you have a book on stock music licensing when you run a music income channel. But hey, I am in these stock music libraries and have been in them for several years now. And I found out a lot about them and I have links to all of the libraries and how to sign up for them, why to sign up for them, what happens when you sign up with them. It's something I put a lot of work into and I'm updating now. So the book is called The Stock Market, Where, Why, and How to Submit Your Music to Stock Music Licensing. It's got links to all the libraries, how to sign up for them, how to upload to them and you can find that at makemusicincome.com slash stock market. I also have tons of stuff for free that you can get right here, including the how to upload to Pond5 short little mini course, very easy to go through and start uploading right away to Pond5, which I think is the best place for people to start with stock music. I also have another free ebook on stock market written from a strange perspective. And you can find all of that at makemusicincome.com slash free. Yeah, it's free. All free, free, born free. It's all free. So what is stock music licensing? Simply put, in the same way that there are stock video and stock photos on sites that you can download and use in your videos, presentations or whatever, there is stock music as well that you can download. The main sites we discuss the most here are Pond5, Motion Array, Audio Jungle, but there are tons of others. The beautiful thing about stock music sites is that they are what we call non-exclusive, meaning once that you are inside of these libraries, you can submit the same songs, all of your catalog, to every library. That means anytime you finish a new song, you can put it into any or all of these stock music libraries, all of your catalog to all of the libraries. Pretty cool. And you have a chance to make pennies or dollars on each song every month. They also pay around the 15th on every month prior to when you get sales. So if you get sales in one month, a lot of times you can get income in the very next month. Sounds great, right? Well, as you can imagine, with an incalculable number, is that a word, incalculable? Hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of composers and producers trying to get in these libraries, similar to putting your music on Spotify. There is just an untold amount of people putting music up to these libraries every day. So yes, it's cool to have this ability to put your music on these libraries, but is it worth your time? Many people, especially composers and producers putting music up to stock music licensing are starting to feel like it's not worth their time. The returns are low for the work that you put into making these songs, putting them out on these libraries and all the tagging and everything you have to do. These libraries change their rules on a whim. And like the real stock market, your fortunes can change in a day, in a week. Not to say you're gonna make a fortune, but you might. Also, everyone does different music at different talent and quality levels. Try as they might to curate carefully, and some of them take forever to listen and approve your music. These libraries still may bring in 
music that is not useful for their clients even though it is quality. Libraries used to license each song for a price. You would pay $10, $50, whatever you paid to license that song. You would pay one price and then you would be able to use it. But in recent years, the subscription model has taken over with an all you can download price that you pay per month. Now, instead of paying $50 for a song you really want it to use, you might pay $29 a month for everything. Some of these sites, like I showed you before, not only offer stock music, but they also offer stock videos, stock photos, templates for After Effects and things like that. So composers and producers putting their music on these libraries have seen things start to dwindle because this subscription model kind of makes everybody get pennies for their songs instead of $50 for their songs. And then it becomes all about how much downloads you can get and it all becomes about downloads. Libraries are also getting harder for you to initially get into and or are closing their doors. As I said, they are carefully curating and that may stop you from getting some songs in some libraries. The licensing landscape is just getting more and more competitive and bloated. There are dozens of gurus, like me, I guess, telling people about what they are seeing in stock music licensing. Stevie B of the Production Music Academy, and I talk about it not weekly, but all the time on our Make Music Income podcast. If you're not watching that podcast, there is a link below and you can listen and watch it on YouTube. We're sometimes celebrating, we're sometimes lamenting, uh, it's a constant struggle and a drama that continues through the years. And if you are part of Stock Music Licensing, you know what I'm talking about. But there is a silver lining here. Back to the question of this video. Is stock music still worth doing? And the answer is... So you may be thinking, kind of a pessimistic lead up there, Eric, but you're going to be surprised because I'm going to say a resounding yes. Absolutely, you should be doing stock music licensing, especially if you are a new composer, producer, or musician looking to get into this space. I think stock music licensing is still a viable way to get your music into uses around the world. It's a great way to dip your toe into music licensing in general. And yeah, it can make you a little bit of income. But my reasons for doing this aren't just about how much money Money it can make you. And I know you're saying that's not very make music income of you, Eric, but I think there are four really good reasons why you should consider stock music licensing. Number one, it's a great way to ease into music licensing. You're likely going to make less in music licensing to stock libraries, non-exclusive works than you will in television placements, movie placements, and uh, advertising placements. But it's still a great way to get into some of the things that you're going to need to know how to do in the big boy libraries. You're gonna to have to know how to tag files. You're gonna to have to know how to name them. You're gonna to have to know how to write songs for briefs, lots of things in licensing. You can get into with stock music licensing and kind of dip your toe in without going full tilt into something that you may not know that much about. You may not know music licensing or be ready and wonder if you're ready for television and film and things like that and going directly to that. You may want to just dip your toe in and kind of see what it's like in stock music licensing. Number two, this will get you experience with rejections, songs that don't do that well, songs that don't make it, songs that do well, and how you can make sure you are making the music that people need for their libraries. This is a big part of putting your music into TV and film libraries, and you can kind of get this experience by doing stock music licensing. It's great for just kind of feeling out what it's gonna be like to submit your song to someplace and see if they accept it and see where you are quality-wise. I think everybody wants to know that. Number three, you really learn what companies are looking for, how they want their stuff sent to them, and you're just going to learn a lot about why people might want, need, or use your songs. You can also see how they're used sometimes when we get reports on Content ID and we can go see the videos that people are using in YouTube videos and it's really cool to see how this kind of works and see where your music is used behind things. So it gets you kind of used to that kind of world. Number four, it's something that you have to do some work to get. In other words, you have to uh, get better at your craft and that is something that I can't teach you 
necessarily as much as you have to do it. Submit those songs, get those songs into libraries, and see what it's like to do that work and get that work into music libraries. So this is a great way to do that on kind of a lower pressure scale and you can start the work and start your music making and work towards getting songs done that you can then put in these libraries. Yes, it is possible income coming in and that's something we base this whole channel on. I hope this has been helpful for you to decide whether you're gonna bother with this or not. And I hope that it's helped you see that there are pluses to this besides just making music income, which is, heresy on this channel. Why would I talk about anything other than making music income? But I do think in order for us to get to the higher places of income, we've got to have stepping stones. And stock music licensing might just be a great stepping stone for you. If you want to dive into the stock music licensing industry, remember my ebook that I talked about, and you can find it right here. I've got more videos about stock music right here if you wanna watch them. And also, make sure you leave your thoughts and comments below about this kind of thing. I'd love to hear what you have and answer any questions you may have. And as always, thanks so much for watching.